thank you everybody and uh you know you i guess you may inadvertently or inadvertently decided to push play on uh this podcast known as do boy crazy j and there ain't no kind of particular nothing about the way we do what we do especially today because it's unscripted uncensored we don't give a fuck We'll be back in a little bit. Do boy Crazy J. Sometimes the music might be a little much, but uh, that's what we got to do to keep original music, because uh, a lot of this shit's just homemade on some weird doll program, and um, you know, digital audio workshop, as they say, and uh, this is what's got to be done so that we don't get infringements on copyrights or whatever the fuck, right, because, you know, all these digital platforms got all these weird codes and whatnot, and I ain't trying to infringe, and I'd like to live on the fringe. Yeah. I'd be done for nothing if Jubilee don't call me soon. I'm gonna be done smoking this bowl before we even get the show rolling, right? I'm hoping he calls by the end of the song. Enjoy it. So yeah, it's the Dubois and Crazy J podcast. So D B C J P O D C A S T at gmail.com. If you got a topic for us to blast away on, do you want to somehow be a guest caller? You got a business you'd like to plug, which actually we're running some free shit. Like and share our stuff on YouTube and we'll plug your business for free. How about that? Life can be better that way. Life can be a lot better that way. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause this real quick. We're going to be back with Dubois, and uh, I'm Crazy J. Welcome to the DBCJ Podcast. We're actually going to get things rolling here in just a minute. I just had to, like, I don't know, burn one and play some tunes real quick because I'm sitting here waiting for Dubois, and I'm fucking one impatient motherfucker. I'm very impatient. So we'll be back in just a bit. Sit tight. Don't let those fucking booty bed bugs bite or whatever. You know what? Keep the tunes going, I guess, for the time. 
of being because I talk to myself, but I don't like to talk to myself. It's weird like that. I got these. Try this one out real quick, see what happens. I, I I don't know. It's all original shit that I sporadically make in a hurry because I don't have the fucking patience to actually produce and finalize music. So I don't know. I'm open to the comments, some the criticism, the feedback. This is some homemade shit by yours truly, the crazy J. from Dubai, man. I'm wondering what's going on. I hope this dude's alright, boy and girl. Women, children, men of all ages. Why is it men of all ages? So it's boys and girls, women and children, and men. People. People of all ages. I think that's better. That kind of makes a little more sense. That's fair. Right? So check out who's calling us here. Listen to this shit. What's up, fucking dude? What's up? Dude, fucking, you got good timing. 30 seconds and counting. <clears throat> so you're already on, man, right? Welcome to the Dubai and Crazy J fucking podcast, fuckers. Um, uh, Dewey, I was doing, like, this whole little fucking thing, not without you, like, I was just jamming some music is what it was. I dug up a file on the computer, and, uh, but I'm glad you're here now, because I was getting, like, weird talking to myself. It ain't good. You'll hear it later when I upload shit. Fire up, bitch. Six, five, four. Well, welcome to the Dubai Crazy J Podcast. DBCJ P O D C A S T at gmail.com. I'm Crazy J. Or on YouTube. <laughs> we all know what happened to me over here. Has to get me a drink here real quick while I'm stopped here because I'm a little parched dude, after I come out the warehouse. What are you drinking? What are you drinking? What are you drinking? What are you drinking? Moonshine? 
Was I, I was talking to you about that earlier. Okay, so <laughs> hold on. This is already starting weird. I almost want to call Jesse up. Okay, uh, so for anybody listening, wondering, Jesse's a, a friend of mine. She's been a friend of mine for fucking years. One of those friends where you can like not talk for fucking a while, and then like no harm, no foul. You just pick it up, and you know, I mean, pick it up where you left off. Just good friends. You know what I mean? Nothing ever bad ever happened, that type of thing. But uh, she's cool as shit. And uh, we were bullshitting earlier today. <clears throat> Sunrise hours. Oh, yeah. And yeah, no, speaking of, let's do this thing. Uh, so, yeah, we're bullshitting this morning. And I was telling Dubois, and I just wanted to bring this up on the podcast. So what if they had, like, vagina shine? Okay, and it's not what you're thinking where it's like some wax and shaving kit and, you know, special skin moisturizer, vagina shine. What I'm talking about is you find yourself a healthy fucking squirting girl and you get her to fucking all this up in the fucking, all, all, <laughs> up in, all up in the mason <laughs> jar. Right there, right there, right there, and portrayed on a DVC Day podcast. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Entertainment purposes I meant to say that too, you know, like right at the beginning, like, yeah, put your kids out the room and all that shit. So anyway, you find yourself a healthy squirter <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> you get her to like in a mason jar and, and I forget exactly now verbatim, it was fucking hilarious because we're both I, like people were laughing our butts off and uh, like ferment it, but you do it with like berries or some shit or fruit. So it could be like, you know, strawberry vagina shine and you let it turn into moonshine somehow. However, that process happens on a scientific basis and make sure you don't blow up the neighborhood or some shit like that is probably where you'd have to go with that. Say it one more time. You'd probably have to do more like a wine or a beer. Like, how could you, for like, I, look, look, I know it sounds fucking gross, but there's, like, a science behind this. Could you, f- like, make a wine out of... You got uh, yeast, don't it? Oh, right, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it sounds so gross, but, like, you're right, like, yeast affects and shit. Like, what if you could... Like, <laughs> you need to get away from this shit already. <laughs> we're going down a rabbit hole. <laughs> All right, we're going to be back. Yeah, we're going to sidebar real quick. No, we ain't even going to bother with that. Look, Mike, I was smoking one out you a little bit over here. Okay. <laughs> oh, JSO and JSO. Who is JSO? If you're talking to a national crowd, that would be the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Meow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boom, come on and everybody panic. For real, though, like, could you make battery. vagina shine? I don't mean to sound weird like that, like... You know what I mean? Could that actually be scientifically feasible? I know it's yeah, gross it's, and fucking weird and like, you know. <laughs> but the whole idea is like we're supposed to talk and think and come up with ideas that ain't nobody ever had roll across their fucking crazy minds before. We're supposed to be extra. I, why do Why do adult people want somebody that shaved bald? Well, that's a different vagina shine, is what I'm saying. That you know what I mean, like. Oh, oh. No, but we're there on that subject, so I mean, anyway. Uh, why? Well, okay, so let's. You and I have talked about this off recording before, and I'll let you go first because I see both sides to this now. There's there's a variety of perceptions on. Uh, Duboy poses the question of what now, what is it with, now, with the, okay. the inc- let, let me put ahead. it this way. Right, let me quiet down here. I w- now, if somebody came up and was already that way, I got no problem. But are, you're not going to be like, if you want to be with me now, in a relationship, you're going to I went to ask day. somebody or somebody went to ask me, that's what a if, problem. What if shit was out of control? Is okay. So right, I don't. Trimming is different than shaving bald. Fair, fair. I agree with that. Okay, and I mean, I so, don't want so to you didn't in the eyeball. Get it. Get on. I the, get on the point though. Like, what, up my what nose. Is, what does that dinner. equate with to you in your head? Well, I'm packing a bull here at the same time. So, but in your head, children. It, there it is. Children. There it is. Okay, so I to don't... me that's what it looks like. If you're if you're a grown ass adult asking another grown ass adult to shave their private parts, what about then, what about like health and shit? Because you know what I mean. Like there's, there's I don't know I don't know like maybe it's just healthier and you can see if they've got like the herp and shit or a crab. You know what I mean? Like shit like that. If you're that worried, then I guess they need to go somewhere and get checked for fucking yeah, STIs. You shouldn't be fucking them in the first place. STIs, <laughs> it's not a disease anymore. They are now infections. Call them sex gifts. Call them sex gifts. 
Infections sound oh, like they can S- be cured, S- where a disease no, just, more than likely no, cannot be cured. It's, it's a fucking sex gift. It's a gift that keeps on giving, baby. You're on round and round. No, that's round. only certain ones. <laughs> certain ones will eventually disappear anyway. You know? And other I mean, ones will make you lose your motherfucking mind and shit. With syphilis, so it like eats away at your brain or something. Major. Penis too. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. And then there's other ones named after breakfast foods and shit. And, then, and like, I, you know, I'm not going to get into all that. What are we talking about? Why? Nobody cares. DBCJpodcast at gmail.com. Help us get to a better topic. If you've got a small business to plug, email us. We'll work you into the show for free. All you got to do is like and share. And con- How did you say it, Dubois? What, what, uh, when they go and, you know, like that co-op. Say we gotta, the first they got to listen. Listen. And they gotta laugh. And they gotta laugh. <laughs> and they gotta like. I like it. Then they gotta share. I like it a lot. And then they gotta subscribe. So there's three L's and two S's. That's a lot of shit. That's a lot of shit. A lot of shit. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of shit, shit. No, a lot. Two lot. letters. Five. Two letters. Five spaces. Yeah. So we'll do that. Though we'll like you know hook us up and we'll plug your business as long as you. Do what Dubois said for our, yeah, us, and, and, you know, it'll be, like, mutual. It'll be harmonious. And then this one's for the ladies, Dubois. <laughs> Leave you hanging, girls. Leave you fucking hanging. <laughs> There's, like, the stoner laughing half right there. <laughs> It'd be a lot cooler if you did, man. <laughs> hey, where be that fucking fart? I fixed all that. So, anybody that was listening uh, to any of the other ones <clears throat> last night. Oh, well, I can find it. Yeah, actually, on our thing, us laughing about our own shit. You want me? I'll pull that up. Give me a minute. This will take just a second here, folks. Why don't you tell them what the fuck we're talking about? So, if this we is need, like the first episode need, they've turned in to, to we, we need to put that on recording somewhere so uh, we can just hit that in the middle of fucking whatever, whenever. Uh, when was that? Yesterday. Yesterday yes, was late, t- late, late in the show. 25 was just filled on. I when mean, somehow uh, Crazy J somehow did something on the computer that made fart noises. And we have no clue or idea what the hell he did. Here we go. Here we go. That's Ben, yeah? That's this was ben yesterday's show. This is not turning out as good as I wanted to. <laughs> oh. Zero. Bro. No patience. Dubois got no patience for this shit. He's going to wipe his <laughs> Hold on. It was just... I, want I, I Whiplash. It was after that. I was... Oh, I, it, I went... Like, yeah, it was like at the end. Here. I admit it's... <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to listen to this shit. <laughs> that was exactly the part what I wanted. What the fuck it. are we doing? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah, it started before well, that, but yeah. Uh, yeah. So we were we were just doing our thing and putzing along, and again, this is an incredibly unscripted, uncensored, un- unplanned, improvised. Show. Yeah, improv improv of my shave of my bands's, and um. But anyway, we something happened with the mis- the podcast tech shit. There's a little thing with all these buttons on it, and you know I'm sure people can understand and picture whatever the fuck. And for those that don't know, they just picture but like one, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight red buttons and a bunch of little knobs and little flicky beanies and whatever. I mean, it's just it's fun to play. But anyway, one of the buttons got confused. It's one of the quick cue buttons where I can like you know do this shit. You know, little, and one of them got fucked up where it was making this fucking Rudy Tootie farty noise. <laughs> the first one was like a wet fart, and then the second mm. one was like butt cheeks clapping. <laughs> it was. It, it got out of hand. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna try to find the exact spot, or maybe we can make the thing do that uh, again. I'm going to put a song on. We're going to sidebar. We're going to come back. We're going to burn one. Maybe I'll roll one up or something. You're listening to the Dubois and Crazy J podcast. Give me a second while I try to find a different song because this one already played on the fucking thing. Hold on. What the fuck? I had it all set up and then my hand jiggled the mouse keys and, man, unscripted. You with yourself again, huh? All right, Dubois Crazy J podcast. DBCJ podcast at gmail.com. We're going to sidebar round table. Burn one. We'll be back.
Okay, so we got a quick public service announcement here from Dubois. Um, he felt the need to let us know. Uh, go ahead and tell him what you just said. We are not responsible if you laugh so hard that you pee your pants, <laughs> your eyes water so bad that you can't see, and you wreck the vehicle you are driving. And this has been another public safety announcement from the desk of Dubois. <laughs> All right, so if I run over somebody, it's my fault, right? Well, that depends. Like that was a conversation that came up earlier today about people jumping out in the middle of the road and people fucking ditching their cars and running from the cops and like what would happen? Dubois had a story and and I kind of like proposed it as a social experiment, possibly a question. Now listen, I'm really high and tired, so I'm gonna be talking all like this sometimes. ASMR, baby, I love it. Fuck you, bitch. Anyway, um, what would happen? Mm -hmm. Traveling down the highway, doing your buck and a half, and and uh, you know, you're going one direction, and cops pull somebody over on the opposite side going the other direction. But that motherfucker decides to bail through the middle of the highway up in front of you. What do you do if you hit that motherfucker? Are the cops just going to be like, thank you, sir. Go on your way. Here, here's a coupon for a free car wash. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? What would have happened if you would have hit the cops in that situation? Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, I almost What the did. fuck? That's what I'm saying. Like, and who would have been? What's the whole... And, uh, you slam on your brakes and causes a fucking 38 and a half to point two car pilot. Wait, what was it? 34 and a half? 34 and a half car pilot. Because it's half 69 or something. You know, this is like a blowjob. Mm -hmm. sweet, 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 sweet. Vagina shine. Okay, why do people want bald. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> We, this ain't working out for me today. Like I'm and having you a, just popped <laughs> right back there. How the fuck? <laughs> Look, the the leashes they ate, they ate a lot yesterday, so today they got a little bit. That's that behind. Mm -hmm. Want to mm -hmm. go back there? <laughs> uh, I looked. <laughs> so this is where any good radio show or whatever the fuck would put on Let's a clip of some a rear view mirror, but we really yeah. don't have a rear. View. We got side rear view mirrors, but no rear view mirror. 2020 hindsight. What is this? Huh? What? I found this. What? I found this. Should we let this play? It says don't overthink. And then I push play, and this is what's playing. Let's see if me and Dewey can not. We're, like, we're going to have a verbal staring contest. The first one to make noise while smoking weed loses during the song. So I'm going to smoke. Like, like, you can light the lighter, and you can. But you can't, like. <laughs> None of that shit. Ready, go. Well, that's no fair then. I got the base man. I already won. Oh, this is like Night Rider shit, dude. Listen to this shit. Giddy up, giddy up. Giddy up, giddy up. I hate that shit. I can't stand that shit. <laughs> I get these music programs and I get like these little fucking packages of sounds and shit sent to me. <laughs> and sometimes it's hit and miss, dude. So it's like. See, I'll tell you what, I'm not a music, <laughs> I'm not Dr. Dre by no means, I am no, not at all a music producer, all I do is they like, basically send, Dr. Dre, he was a basketball player, <laughs> basically they send you these little packages of like, it's like a puzzle and you can piece together this shit, and it makes some cool whatever the fuck, but like, I don't know man, this one sucks. So anyway, listen, if you get anal leakage because you fucking sneeze while listening to this show and you're, like, smoking and burning one, you know what I mean, you can go ahead and contact our complaint department at 1-800-I-don't-give-a-fuck. Yeah, it's one eight zero zero. Stop typing your fucking phone because it's not a real number. <laughs> 1-800-E-H-E-S-H-I-T. <laughs> and, and then you want to go ahead, and when you do get fined with somebody on the line over there now, right, you want to ask to speak to the I D. Tan T department, okay, and you go ahead and ask for Moses. He's the guy in charge over there, okay, and he's gonna page Doctor Alcum, okay. Then they're gonna come and operate on your motherfucking mind. Basically, Ooh, that was cool. Don't overthink. Wow. There you go. Don't overthink, Mike. All right. Don't overstink. You know, it, it's that time of year. I mean, like, what do you think of all the pumpkin? 
Is that too much pumpkin in the world? Is that like, do you? Yeah, I don't really do pumpkin a whole lot like that shit. Like, here we go. Another squirrel! Whee! Oh no, oh no. Went flying. Oh, get that motherfucker on a leash. A what? Where the hell did that pumpkin squirrel come from? I don't know. I was just trying to mix it up a little bit because I I feel myself I like well listen we were talking about vagina shine and then you were talking about shaved body parts and then pedophilia oh look at me remembering all of a sudden what in the fuck I, I, is oh in shit, this how, did you re how did your short term memory come back <laughs> crazy Jay's on point baby <laughs> yeah right what happened there you know what it is, is that the outdoor you know or is that new stuff <clears throat> You know what it is, man? Is I is it's Isaiah? Is it's Isaiah? No, um, I no coffee. No, no, I'm at the end of. I end or whoever. What is this? Anyway, huh? I don't know what Isaiah Elijah. What? I don't, man, I look. Never, that's the, <laughs> that be the stone. You know it's a good time, dude, boy. Oh, I see, Mister Graphic. All right, here on the Dubai and Crazy J Show, you may occasionally, from time to time, hear this. Yeah, I mean, I'm all about space travel and, and aquanauts and astronauts and all that, but this is more about, it's time to blast off. And we call it packing an acorn so we can chase some squirrels. And every time we burn one real quick, it's usually somebody will fire off some dumb topic after that. So we're going to go ahead and try this out, see what happens. Fire one up, ladies and gentlemen, DBCJ Podcast. I mean, it's not really 32 minutes past the hour on the real clock. It's like 55 or so. 35? 55. 55. 53. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. Uh, <laughs> what's the one concert that cost 45 cents? <laughs> and <laughs> the answer is <laughs> 50 cent featuring Nickelback. <laughs> it is a 45 cent concert. <laughs> That's why I'm crazy. That's why I'm crazy. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Do you want look? I think, Mike, I'm going to call Jesse. We're gonna get her on the phone. I think we should do that. It'll be fun. No, I can't do three-way calling. Fuck that shit. My stupid phone. You know what? Sometimes you will pay for things that you think you really want. And then after you get it, you're like, not only did I not want to pay for it all of a sudden, I don't even want it. This piece of shit. So I'm referring to, I can't, I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna name names or nothing, but there was an app for a home screen customized home screen on my particular cell phone and I'm not going to even get into which one I have. Let's just say I had a customized home screen feature thing that I, that I paid for and downloaded and but it screws up my ability to do call waiting, video calling, three-way calling. I could do phone call and talking and it's happening now but like I just don't That's understand. That's what happens when you're a geek. That's what happens when, well there was a comedian that got into the whole difference between geek Inner. Well, either way, it don't fucking matter. You're a damn Trekkie. <laughs> I like, I, look, no, I like anything that has space in the title. Is that fair? Space Cowboys. Star Trek, nothing for nothing, dude. Like, you know, a lot of people grew up with it. And there's a variety of Star Treks out there, but, like, it, it taught people things about equality and oh, and fairness to others and how to be diplomatic and proper and you can be mad at somebody but still talk with like you know professionalism and shit and how to be like like the, i guess diplomatic is the thing when they're sitting there face to face ready to blow each other to shreds and they sit there and have this weird coy conversation <laughs> and it's like well we don't want to have a mess yet today do we sir no sir <laughs> off like I do and then just get everybody pissed off for about a week and then after that everything's fine <laughs> oh, that too that too well look there could be life on the other side of the galaxy right now and like you wouldn't know how to talk to them 
How do we know not the other side of the galaxy? How do we know that our politicians aren't the aliens type of thing, and they've been here all along? How about that? What like what if everybody I is look right? At some of them, they might be. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, what if everybody's right? So the ancient alien theories and the way religion speaks about that, and then they, they, people think some of the politicians are reptiles. There's a lot of theories out there, and let's just say the bloodlines and they they them they they are those who them are they and whatever the fuck you know what I mean. There's a certain there's, uh-huh. the, and and like what what if they're they are How the some aliens, of these motherfuckers dude? live to be a hundred fucking years That's old? What I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like what it like and you know hypothetical theorems over here from the delusional minds of Crazy J and Dubois. Nobody knows for sure because am I holding a degree? No, and even if I, I held one, I wouldn't be holding it because I'd have it on the wall. So, oh, you wouldn't. You need to use that bitch for toilet paper. Mm-hmm. Only have to uh, eat my Taco Bell, bitch. Anyway, um, like, I, like, that's something to consider. Like, the aliens could have been here all along. And we're just like lab rats. And, you know, the whole gold thing, why is gold the most fucking precious thing to us, right? And there's a lot of theories about that. We do use it in a lot of technology. It is a good metal for the things that we use it for. But that's what we use it for because that's what we understand to use it for. I'm sure there's other things we could use, right? So, like, I don't know, man. It's like how we mine petroleum, right, for our purposes. So maybe we're just a bunch of fucking shovel-slinging motherfuckers, and that's, I think, a politically correct way to say it. We're all got our own pickaxe and our own shovel, if you will, and we're just digging up gold and working our asses off for these weirdos that are just a bunch of fucking, we call them politicians, and we you know, you could call them interplanetary people. I don't know, man. What the, look, stop it. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to stop. Hey, did you hear that thing now that fucking they're trying to make it to where... The fucking, you're not allowed to say mom. They're not going to be calling them mom anymore. It's oh. the birthing the birthing vessel of some fucking shit or that did some shit. So you can't call your mother mom? Nope. Got to call her the birthing vessel. That Are, it, okay, look, like, let's, let's toss the coin around. Let's play catch here and be fair, right? Let's try to dissect this a little bit. So is it that you... <clears throat> I can call my mom mom, but if you're a mom and you don't want to be called mom, like how the gender identity, it's like a personal choice preference. So if, like, what happens if you hear me call my mother mom and then, you know, that's not your mother and I'll be like, who the fuck are you to say? (laughs) Where's the line? There's your sign. Where's your line? (laughs) Don't need those lines no more. Those days are over. Anyway. um, Who gets offended? Yeah. So why don't you try to clarify a little bit? I know you're chewing on some, and then I was—I actually bought a big ass bag of Junior Mints for like. I spent too much on this motherfucker. You can hear this shit; it's big, and it's the little itty bitty bite size guys, dude. I like those because you can you know pluck away, and then they're moist in the middle. I saw an article about that on the Google News thing. How far did you jump into oh. that shit? Huh? Cause I got a mouthful of Junior Mint all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> junior mint and then a drink of Mountain Dew and breathe in. No, I got Junior Mint and just some water and that's going to be good. Oh, I'm fuck gonna... you get the Mountain Dew and then breathe in, it's fucking even better yet because uh, of the damn mint people... and, and no the coolness. Wants Nobody wants to hear me chewing. Tell a story. Tell me a story about one time when you were playing with fire and shit got fucked fuck up. Fuck you. Fuck you. Tell me a story about one time. Fuck you. I just told you a story. <laughs> that could be taken a lot of different ways by people if they were like, I'm going to skip ahead in the show and I'm like, tell me a story. And they're like, I fucked you. Wait, you fucked him? He fucked you? Who fucked? No. Ain't nobody fucking nobody. <clears throat> Nobody's fucking nobody. I mean, that's what they said in 48 hours, right? And that's what they said in Brokeback Mountain, too. I don't hear it. <laughs> tell, me a, tell me a bedtime story. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, that's my favorite. Mm, cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Eddie, I was Eddie looking Murphy, for, like, I was Eddie looking Murphy for, and, and man, you heard my head, Mike. <laughs> Make me think, man. Stop it. <laughs> I'm playing with you, buddy. I love you. <laughs> I'm just goofing with you. Um, what, what movie was it? That... With the banana and the tailpipe. Oh, you want the banana? You like I'm a banana in your tailpipe? I'm the banana and the tailpipe. I'll put the banana in your tailpipe. You want to know something funny? That exactly what you... I can't, you know. Hold on. Give me a second to censor myself because I want to go PG-13 even though this is not intended for children because the Ting family did not visit us today because there's no Ting here. Um, 
Anyway, banana in your tailpipe, you can only imagine. So let's just say that early on before we were married, before we were engaged, like we were just starting the date. And and, and, and that would that would come up jokingly at the appropriate moment. You know what I mean? It was a well-suited comment for the situation that we were both engaged in. And I would just be like, yeah, banana in your tailpipe. <laughs> And I'm not naming names, right? That was that was actually pretty safe and censored, I think. That's fair. That's fair. Was there anything? How about that? You don't want to tell me a story about blowing a fire up and shit like that? Tell me a story about one time you were screwing around. And omit your names and keep it legal and shit. Don't, like, incriminate. Well, statute of limitations. So I guess in world enough for seven years to have passed between certain events, right? But anyway, a time when something so fucked up happened like that, like she farted in your face or you, somebody shit themselves or... Sneaked out a window to run away from a parent type <laughs> shit when you were a teenager, maybe. I don't know. You tell me, buddy. I didn't have to sneak out. Are you kicking them out? <laughs> That's so wrong. I just Pitch walked right out in the front door of the house. <laughs> Bye, Mrs. Jones. Bye, Mr. Jones. I'll be by to cut the grass later. <laughs> After I hang myself from the tree. <laughs> I had girlfriends. I had girlfriends. I'd be laying on the couch in the living room with them. And their parents would be sitting right there watching TV. We'd be covered with a blanket. Goofing around. I had a couple of girls. I, I, okay, you know what? I'll, I'll put it out there. I haven't had a lot of girlfriends, and people might perceive me as have. I have that persona where I'm like a, a dude slut, I guess. Man whore, but not. Man whore. Yeah, but, but I'm not really like... I'm I'm flirt I'm flirty as fuck. Don't get me wrong, bro. I'm flirty as fuck, but like I'm not no I more, but I used to be a man ho. I don't just stick my dick in anybody. I'll say that that's the easiest way to put it out there cuz Jesse and me were talking about this was came up we talk over breakfast kind of thing. And again, a lot of like phone call type stuff, but uh it was like, you know, you learn well, I learned over the years, man. Like, you know, I've had I've had the flings and the ones where you wake up and you're like, not the worst, but like, man, if I wasn't drunk, you know what I mean? Or like, what the fuck? No regrets in life. You you say that a lot. I say that a lot. So does Jesse, actually, where it's like, I don't regret anything. It just helped me learn in a fucked up way. That's all. And, not, and whatever. Live and learn, right? And uh, But like, there's a, there, you got to place a value to it, I think, man. Yeah, I don't know. You can't just run around flinging that thing in the mud. All the fucking, I, you know what? Welcome to the Dubai and Crazy J podcast. <laughs> Rusty trombones. Why can't you? I mean, I don't know. It's a, but choices, man. I don't know. As long, the way I see it, as long as you're like telling everybody what's going on. Not okay. You don't gotta broadcast your pub, your private affairs like a media campaign and shit and have billboards out like this is what I did in detail last night with my partner or whatever whoever it may be right, right? I don't do but that. but if you're going to be with multiple people and shit like that or you're going to like you know just live the life and casual if you will you know and that's fine that's totally fine like people just say the word dating okay if you're just going to date and I don't I don't even say it's multiple people in a week it mm-hmm. might be multiple people you know over months, period, you know, there might Look, be... Look, I'll say it like this. For, if for somebody months, asks, you got to fucking tell them. You know what I mean? If, if you're with, if you're on a date or you're at a bar and you go home with somebody type of shit, and, and a lot of people agree with this, it doesn't matter what you do, as long, but if somebody brings it up, you can't lie. That's, you know, because it's a health, it's a medical thing is what it comes down to. You know what I mean? There's a certain level of like, hey, man, I don't care, but like, you know... Are you fucking, are you, are you popping lily pads, basically? <laughs> yeah, okay, cool, let me rub her up, you know, that type of shit. That's all. No, I didn't say I'm riding bareback. Well, there, look, I'll, well, because there's people out there that when they're in situations, male or female, where, like, protection becomes an afterthought, dude. They're just like, ooh, uh, whatever, it feels better this way. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Get this. <laughs> Still in my butt, <laughs> you know. That's been better the other way, but I mean, what in the butt? Are you talking about? Why are you talking about do boy? No, without, are you gonna say something on the air here? A rainy coat. Oh well, naturally, dude. Like, come on now. You you really think you want to take two rubber gloves? <laughs> if you took two rubber gloves <laughs> and put them on your hands and just rub them together. <laughs> Right, like that's no fun. 
Ain't no fun. It just sticks together, it rolls off, falls off. Be dudes be like, I'm a Magnum man. You ain't no, you ain't no mosquito man. And that thing falls off. off the bottom of that bitch. Oops! I only got a cock ring on now. <laughs> right, right. Like, like they should fucking put like a string on some of these condoms because these dudes be losing them and they get buried up in there. And these poor girls gotta hop in the shower or sit on the fucking shitter and pick that shit the fuck out of there. Cause dude's like, I'm a magnum man, <laughs> and it ain't, and it ain't like. I used to blow out them things every now and then. Well, then you were getting them too small, bro. Is what it is. About, and when that was back then, there wasn't magnum back in the damn eighties. <laughs> <laughs> I understand those. Those were those. It was just, pretty much a one size fits look, all, yeah, Jack. It, it looked, it looked like a fucking lifesaver or just a fucking balloon, basically. Yeah. Blowing the dark from the fucking mm -hmm. bathroom. In the, uh, the machine in the bathroom. Right, right, yeah, 30 cents. You don't know how long that motherfucker's been sitting in there. <laughs> don't forget your little puff of cologne for a quarter. <laughs> oh, shit. I understand. I mean, I ain't gonna say I never broke one. I 75, 75 cents for the fucking little cock ring thing and whatever else. It had like six different things in the fucking machine. <laughs> uh, a little fucking con. Fuck that shit, man. I think what they did with all I think they sterilized people honestly they're gonna be like motherfuckers everybody likes to fuck and condoms obviously ain't working and half the population forgets to take their birth control at the right time I guess whatever cause I guess that's an element to taking birth control is timing and right you don't wanna be messing with the cycles of mother nature and it's a fine fairy and whatever but like you know you ain't gonna stop people from fucking that's straight biology so I think they went around and they're giving these teenagers and pre-adolescents this HPV shit. And they're like, here, this is going to cure some cancer. Cancer, not my child. I'm going to protect my child. And even boys need this shit because boys can get it without even having sex apparently now. And like, it's a whole thing. And it's like, okay, fine. And then I right, Corona. So like, let's go ahead and... I mean, I don't want to be that guy. I hold conspiracy as I guess in my head. But I also hold try to like be like active about it where it's like... I'm not just going to run my mouth. I do, but I don't. What I, anyway, long story short is like, dude, they sterilize the fucking people. There's a lot of those babies being born, bro. It's fucking food we eat. Well, that too, you know, but there's a lot less motherfucking babies being born, homie. And they will continue to. And I, that's the most politically, like, gentle way to do it without going all bonkers and being like, we're just going to hold the lottery and start killing people. Which, if they drew my number, then I would be like, I understand, because I'm well aware there's too many fucking people on this motherfucking planet. I don't, everybody deserves to live. I'm not like that guy. Okay, okay so then just do away with all the fucking warning labels again. And let, let the idiots fucking weed themselves out type of thing. But then you're going to deal with a whole generation Funny of, like, tied. ransack. You're going to get that ransack okay. mentality, and you're going to get that anarchy mentality for at least a generation of fucking, uh, like, you know, the zombies, man. The anarchist, if you will. Not, And I understand all sides of it. Ooh, I played that one already. What am I doing? Stop me. Right? But I don't want to deal with none of that. Nobody does. So how can you just, like, make it right? Well, let's just fucking... Give everybody this dose of clear liquid and tell them it's this, and we're going to cram a bunch of other shit. It might only take 1.1 parts per million of a nickel chromium diode based something synthetic molecule. And they just like, I, it's like a third of a droplet in every fucking syringe. And yeah, they're giving you a fucking, they're giving you a fucking influenza fucking vaccine and shit. Sure, sure, that's in there. Along with, you know. Just shoot copper right into their brain. Fuck it. That's what I'm saying. And the goodbye pineal gland and the ability to, like, actually plug your extension cord into the universe because that's what your pineal gland is. Pineal gland, what? Well, well pie, pies and Neil. You're eating a pie with a guy named Neil. Pies and Neil. Pie, I used to know a guy named Neil. Neil in high school. Me too. And actually, his sister had a friend, and the friend dated my crazy brother. And like she's, I'm not getting into all that shit. What the fuck? Let me click this, and we're gonna do this. Was it her boyfriend or husband that he went poof? No, maybe, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. It, it, you know, to be fair, I, I, I'm. I can't talk. About, I just can't talk. I can't. You know how I am. I, I that's uncomfortable to talk about. Not for my sake. It's just like. It's almost like his ears are oh, ringing. Oh, I know. That's his, why. That's yeah, his I ears are ringing. If he was on the phone with me listening and shit, I'd have no problem talking shit with him being able to hear it. 
you know, and I'll talk to you about it, Dubois. I have. It's just not, not with this fucking fuzzy object in my face with these little dials and red. It's really cool because it's really dark in here and it's just all lit up with red lights and shit. And the computer, <laughs> and, the, and the computer screen is even like a reddish color and like it's little it, special, baby. Let's hear on the Dubois and Crazy J Show. Hurricane watch. I'm in a hurricane watch. Southbound. I-95. Well, why don't you say your prediction? Hey, hey, ready? For, for prostate and hairy. <laughs> the hairy prostate. For posterity. Posterity? For the for memory's sake. <clears throat> Let's hear your prediction of which way that hurricane's going to go. Say it on the air because it's being recorded, and then I'll upload uh, it, from, and then later from you'll from be able And which is the way I kind of kind of look at the way that it's you know the way that the fronts are it's pretty much going to go the way that they're saying right up through panhandle of florida up across georgia or south carolina and up the east coast up the east coast and it's it's just going to bounce along the east coast and kind of sit in the ocean or you think it's going to push well, actually they're push saying right into the, fucking the way the models go right now it's actually pushing it up basically the i-95 corridor and then it's gonna like run on land i can't eat just one at a time these are so delicious fucking junior mints all right so you think it's going i think it's gonna go to the gulf man i don't know just that's what it is it's coming through the gulf but it's not going it's coming back across florida and going the other way there's too much steering it to send it towards texas or louisiana or anything like that I don't know. It'd be neat. I don't mean it like it'd be really awesome if nobody ever got hurt. You know what I mean? In these tropical events. But like I like crazy weather. I can't deny that. So like I do want to see an outrageously massive storm. I always pray for a huge storm, dude. I just also pray that nobody gets hurt in the process. Not I like do. I don't pray, pray like that. I don't want to offend anybody, but like you know what I mean? Like there's nothing wrong with wanting to see a volcano explode because you're not wishing for people to die it's just you want to witness that you know what i mean or a glacier collapse i like you know? i used to go during the storms uh when we had the four that crisscrossed the state i don't remember what year but france charlie francis gene and irene or some shit like that oh, like good. It, <laughs> charlie francis gene irene some shit like that <laughs> Was Irene, but you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. No, nah, it was something after that because Gene was J, so. It was... This is where the girls sit on the speakers. Ready? But anyhow, it was all. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I sat outside on my back porch, fucking drinking beer, smoking a bowl, watching yeah. the storm. I absolutely love bad weather, and I I was talking with Jesse again about this stuff, and I think you you and me have had enough conversations where the only part of the weather station that I care enough to, to watch is like the barometric pressure, because that affects headaches and like drowsiness or alertness. Everybody says their joints hurt on rainy days. That's fucking, and that's an it's a pressure, it's an air pressure thing. Like that's a big fucking. I, I love watching storms. I love it when it's fucking Mother Nature is like, fuck you, human. You are so tiny, and I could just wipe you away. <laughs> Gone. I spit on the microphone. That's gross. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. If you got a ear, like, wet willy. Your microphone. My ear didn't get wet. Can I? Did you make it? Shut up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Are, are you? If you're offended by the word moist, go ahead and uh, hit the I don't give a fuck button. It's up there. It's like a red X or something. Right? How do you cancel out of YouTube now? Just hit the home button. Like, you don't need to listen if you don't like it. I'll listen to your negative feedback. I'll work it into the show. I won't say your name or your email or your fucking screen name or avatar name or whatever the fuck. You know, your hidden hidden troll identities. I like I like when people get snotty with me. It's funny, you know, and not for nothing. If you're going to say some naughty shit and put it on like a public comment section, everybody's got the right to use it at that point. That's just the way social media works, motherfuckers. And I think the Do Boy and Crazy J podcast, reachable at TBCJ podcast at, at gmail.com, is nothing more than a variety show of social media fuckery. 
I don't know. We're like for the people that I'm are like, like you ever listen to like NPR at three in the morning because you're just up by yourself. Like it's it's there it's having somebody there when you're you need you know what I mean? It's like company in a way. And we're we're designed to just be on in the background. Just so that it helps you pass an hour or twelve. I don't fucking know. Or a kidney stone, whatever. Yeah. Or or a lot lizard. <laughs> Yeah, you want to pass the lot lizard, that's for sure. And for those that don't know, do boy, why don't you go ahead and get you never, it? Be, you, be, never know, be you, never know what you might you never know what you might get from that lot lizard. Might be one of them ST di- oh 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 almost ST. <laughs> almost ST. It's oh man. What is the lot lizard? Tell him. Tell him about those hoary little fucking devices that walk around. And it could be a dude now. You wouldn't even Fucking know it. Somebody in a truck stop or a rest area Dude. or whatever that comes up and wants to have sex with you, offering for to give you sex for money. Mm-hmm. This is a prostitution. You know, it's like those wannabe wives, those ones that won't cook, and not for nothing. I'll share one. Okay, I never like I've engaged with those people. I've interacted with those people, but I've never like paid money and gotten laid. I'll say that I've talked to them. And I've seen it, and it's like, no, get away from me. I sprayed one in the face with a bottle of Windex. You know, I was over the road and shit, right? And uh, But <laughs> they always try to get you with the, it's warm out here. You mind if I sit in the truck and cool off? I, I ain't looking for nothing funky. I ain't looking for nothing silly. Or it's hot, you know, it's cold outside. Can I, you know, I'll, nope. I'll give you a couple of dollars if I can sit in the truck and warm up, okay? And then once they're in the truck, it's like, I'm going to report you if you don't give me money and shit. Well, none for nothing. Some areas of the country, man, freight needs to be moved. And I, God bless a lot of these truck drivers that go to a lot of these places because it's just they don't know what it takes to put off the vibe of you're crazy enough to fucking deal with anything. You know what I mean? And, you know, you, you never have to. You never will. But it gets people to leave you alone when you can at least cast off a vibe where it's like, just leave me alone, bro. Don't even try me right now. I'm tired and I'm fucked. You know, whatever the fuck. You know, and uh, I told one chick in fucking Gary, Indiana, she needed to get off the step of my truck before I drove out the fucking parking lot and I started right, moving. <laughs> right. But that's, that's kind of where I was going with the story is like, they'll, they try to get you on like a, like assault and battery and shit. The one girl called the cops on another dude. She came to my truck and I was like, it was cold out. It was fucking cold out. And she wasn't, you know, prostitutes aren't what you just see on TV for anybody that doesn't know. You know, they could just be dressed normal. You know what I mean? Like plain fucking everyday clothes and you would never be none the wiser until they're all like, hey, sugar. You know, that bullshit. How you doing, big boy? And hey, baby, you then, need yeah. some company? Yeah, and then my first instinct is like, all right, she's on drugs. And I mean, prostitution and drugs go hand in hand. But anyway. Yeah, she gave, gave me the spiel. And For I, the most part, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, whatever. And I can't even comment on any of that because in the end I feel bad for everybody involved. But whatever. It's empathy that kills me. I'm, empathy is going to be the death of me one day, dude. I swear to God. But anyway, she gives me the spiel about I'm cold. And I'm and I, thank God I had a policy in the company I was working with about nobody else in the truck except you. And I was like, cool. I, you know, and I pointed at the camera. I'm like, I can if I wanted to. So I get it. I get it. And then she went to the next dude, and she was a little bit more feisty because whatever. You know, when you get rejected, you're going to try harder the next time or you're going to quit. Well, she tried harder on the dude right next door, parked on the next truck over. And I'm just sitting there, you know, doing the fucking chill out and hanging out, foot up, whatever the fuck, bumming it. And then I could hear it, dude, where she's like, motherfucker, this, you're going to fucking let me because I have fucking been spending all day out here, you piece of shit. And if you don't, I'm going to call the cops and tell them you assaulted me. And I know the cops, and they're going to, and my boyfriend, he's right the fuck over there. And yada, and it did. It turned into a whole fuck. Cops were there, boyfriend hooting and hollering. And she's like, this fucking motherfucker grabbed me, and he tried to take me in the truck and assault me, and I think he's got drugs in there. And this she was a fucking crack whore. I, okay, I'm not going to say I knew what was going on exactly. Because I just, I sat there. <laughs> I just sat there. If I Nobody asked me nothing. If they would have came over and I would have gotten questions, I'd have been honest. But I just sat there and watched it all go down where I was like, holy shit. Ultimately, the chick got arrested in the end. She had drugs on her and cops apparently have dealt with that. I don't know what happened with the boyfriend because I was like, 
I had the curtains and the truck closed, so it was like a peaking kind of like. I don't want to use the analogy of being like one of the weirdos in a trailer park, but one of the weirdos in a trailer park where you're peeking through the curtains and just in the, the mini blinds. <laughs> Nobody could see me. <laughs> bitch, that's just bent like a fucking ostrich neck, bitch. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that shit happens a lot, man, where, like, crazy motherfuckers do crazy <laughs> shit, and, <clears throat> and man... I believe that was just a Rhode Island tag that just passed me going south with two surfboards on top. Coming, yeah, good, good for them, good for them. I'm happy because I'm jealous. Like I, I could never surf again. Here we go. We're gonna let this one jam in the background. Mm, two boy crazy Jay show. Two boy crazy Jay show. <laughs> I cause your knees too fucked up. Knee, ankle. I broke my toe one time. The one time I got jellyfished, dude, I, I don't even, there was a couple other people that had it happen, and then one little girl couldn't get out of the water quick enough, and her mom was trying to, she, everybody was running. They were like Vinegar hurrying out. or pee? It was sand. We were all scrubbing sand on ourselves. It was wild. Mike, it hurt so bad. No? Vinegar dude, it, or pee? Well, there, it wasn't available, and we were, there was a group of us. Pee? Dude, well, look, look, I don't want to get into it, but. Uh, but can you tell you tell some dude you pee on my leg, I'll pee on your leg. We'll be good. True. I don't disagree with you, but not everybody's willing to do that shit. But there was a group of us that, that were standing honestly, by the lifeguard tower and they like asking for anything and they're like, We don't got shit, just it, it'll go away. The lifeguards were just kinda laughing and chuckling. They were fucking punky teenager fucking yeah, bruh. Yeah, yeah bruh. and there's a fucking warning flag up. There was nothing. A boat went through an entire fucking whatever of jellyfish, and then the waves pushed it all in. And I was like, there was people further out on their surfboards. I was just kind of bumming out there and hanging out and sitting and laying down, sitting, laying down, just just relaxing, dude. And honestly, I was tired and shit. And then all of a sudden, I felt it on my legs, and I thought it was just a fish. It, you know, you feel like whatever, you feel shit in the ocean all the fucking time, dude. Like, think of the level and the, the quantity of things that exist in the ocean a lot. A lot of things are in there. There's big things in there too. So not for none, but okay. So the the waves were starting to die out, and like the you know the boat waves. So we're kind of like using them to kind of push slowly toward the shore. You catch a little free ride a little bit, and um, the the two that were further out started really spazzing, and they had fucking wetsuits on, and then I had shorts and a fucking rash guard t-shirt on, and then I, once the one wave came and pushed it all up into, into my shorts. And then into the shirt because the wave was we were paddling towards shore, and it, it just, dude, dude, Mike, it, it, oh my god, and then we we're covered in it. It was in our ears and shit, and just everywhere. It was fucking everywhere. We were, it was just so. And then we've seen all this shit washing ashore, and then the lifeguards didn't give a fuck. Thousands of jellyfish got chomped up by a boat that had probably no idea. Maybe they did. I don't know. But those tentacles thingies don't die when the jellyfish dies, dude. No. It was oh, no, so dude. horrible, dude. It was so bad. They wash up on the beach, and I fucking watch people out there at night, fucking drunk, walking down the beach. Stepping on that motherfucker. And fucking jellyfish be all over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah, and then they, sp yeah, that shit hurts, dude. That shit ain't or nothing to fucking fall fuck down with. and land in fucking yep. in them and shit. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yup. 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 And they come up, like, sometimes you'll get just one here or there or whatever the fuck, but then sometimes you'll get, like, a thousand of them motherfuckers, dude. Five thousand, you know, a full moon. It seems that like they'll. That's a thing. It like draws a lot of animals to do their reproduction things, you know, on full moons at certain times of the year, or whatever. So jellyfish respond to that, or certain jellyfish do anyway. And I know down in the Florida area, what is that one? that's like it, it stings, but it's not going to kill you. It's a little box-looking thing, tiny little guy, you know, like a football, stiff and squishy and ah, what the fuck? They're weird, man. Little bastard piece of shit. Clear as fuck. You never know they were there until they fucking hit you in the face, dude. <laughs> and then you're like, you got the man of wars or the jellyfish. Those man of wars are fucking bright, though. You, like, those you, those things will kill you. That'll kill you. That mohawk That's looking motherfucker. Uh, and they just float. They float the... around like a piece of trash. You would never even really. Right? Hey. That's why I don't do it. I, I have seen... Something top of the water, something a little below the top of the water. I was out there fucking the one time. Where the hell was I? Probably Fort Pierce, dude. And there, I, I won't go in the water unless there's a group of people out there. I'll never, I'd never, i be by myself, but there's other people. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, no, that's the way it goes. But I like you'd be paddling out and shit, and you would see large fucking things in the waves coming at you. Large, oh, yeah. large, or like entire schools of fish, like three foot fish, just swimming in that whole wave that you're about to fucking like duck under and shit. And you're like, motherfucker, what am I doing in my life? What is this? this like, I had I had a moment, dude, where I was like, dude, this is fun, but like, this is what the fuck midlife crisis shit am I trying to pull here? <laughs> It's kind of what it came down to. It was like, you know, like, yeah, cool, but no, dude, it ain't worth dying over, bro. It really ain't. I got too fucked up. I got way too fucked up. I had to, my brother was with me the one time, bro, and <laughs> stupid fuck. Stupid fuck. Look, I'm ballsy. Give me a couple beers. I'm even more ballsy, but I respect motherfucking nature, dude. I get it. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, I'll go in the ocean when it's aggressive. But I have my limits, so not for nothing. My brother's like rookie with that shit. He's he's seen Lake Erie, where it's like, oh my god, two foot wind waves. This is obnoxious. And then here we are, the one day at the ocean, and we were there all day. We drank like thirty beers this day. We, no, we're, we were down in fucking uh, like Desoto in that area, and okay, but the uh, the weather turned like toward the end of the day, and the waves started really getting fucking obnoxious, dude. Right, like the crisscrossy and. They, they were pushing all that shell, shells and all that shit up in the waves, so the waves were more like concrete, mash-type shit, as opposed to I just water. Like and his dumb ass went in there. He went right in and immediately got sucked out 15 feet. And I'm like, you stupid fuck. Like, what are you doing? Like, we can stay, but here, not in the water. Like, yeah, nobody was in the water. Hey, man, I want to experience the raw power of Mother Nature. And... Thank God the way the fucking, the way it pushed him, he was just moving like a fucking river, but parallel with the shore. The, the way the current, and there was actually, you know, them tide pools that'll fill up and then every so often they overflow and then they'll wash back and create that weird current shit. And uh, he, it, it pushed him like down shore, but he was like 15 feet out and couldn't get past that first, well, the, the last wave, if you will, the one that yeah, actually breaks on shore. And, and he was stuck in, in between the set and he was just, Going down the shoreline, getting mashed around, and every time he came up, the next wave was there because they were like quick and you know crisscrossy. And, and dude, he managed to fucking yank his dumbass out of there because they were crashing ten feet right on the shore, dude. Just bang and full of fucking just rocks and shit. It was gnarly. And I yeah, I'm like I ain't going. He's like you should go surfing that man. The waves are oh, fucking huge. I'm like you'll never see me again. I'll go out there once. I'll be gone forever. I used to laugh up by uh, I'm being like, Cuba tomorrow. <laughs> the Clearwater area, I used to laugh at everybody. Oh, I'm going surfing this weekend. Where? Going to the other coast? Right. The Gulf? I mean, the, dude, the Gulf. Gulf, it's you can little. Get, big, you can get. Not. It's got to be hurricane. Like now would be the time to go surfing in the Gulf. See, back, right. Exactly. You know, and. Back. Back when I was a kid and surfing in in Satellite Beach, Florida, in sixth and seventh grade, we had fucking uh, it was uh, three to five just about every day with swells of five to seven. Always something to surf then. Always something to surf. And you if know, not, you're boogie boarding out there. Like yeah. One to two and fucking. Three to five swells if you're lucky, you know. Even Luck is self motherfucking generated, you boy. The better you feel, the more you win, you know. So eat your beans with every motherfucking meal. Beans, beans, the musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. So the more you toot, the better you feel. Eat your beans with every meal. Sit down, make a squirt, make a squeal. It's a deal. Gotta get some fucking punani in a fucking mason jar. What? Uh, <laughs> crazy Jay's <is> fucking. <laughs> Look, there's been there's been Stop more. This one up. <laughs> there's been more than one time when you've gone ahead and you went fucking all like karaoke style on the show and shit. So I don't. Look, I'm really tired. I've been up four in the morning. I've been up. It's like eight o'clock in the night now. I am fucking well, high as a motherfucker. I am stone, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Look, welcome to the late night hour of the Dubois and the Crazy J podcast. <laughs> late night recording. It's the red light special, baby. Mm. The blue light special. Do you want to? How can we moisten this up for everybody? Let me. Let me. Um. 
Here, yeah, burn one in the microphone. Let me find my bowl real quick. We'll do this. They're blast off, folks. How about that? Anytime there's dead air, right? What do we do? Hit the A button, dumb fuck. Hit the fucking A button. And then I'll try to find a song or something to play. Because I think I already went through the whole fucking list of stuff, man. T-minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Six, oh, the ball. The ball. Five, I need four, it. three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Lift off. We have a lift off. 32 minutes past the hour. It's 34 minutes past the hour. It's all right. We'll, we'll still be able to insert into some kind of orbit, man. D B C J P O D C A S T at a Gmail a dot a com. This is the Dubois Crazy J podcast, YouTube upload, circus, fuck with the face show. That's what we do. This is round two. Welcome back. Yeah. Where are you at? Where are you at? Dubois should be about halfway back home on, on his Monday. Please, son. Mm, uh, dealing with some obscure traffic. Fucking. It was six thirty when I got out of there today. Well, you know. You know what? Kudos to Dubois. We're gonna hit the button. Let's hit this button. What does that one do? Ladies and gentlemen, Dubois. 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 On a Monday night. Ramble on, Dubois. Come on. I'm going to turn a tune on and let you ramble on over some tunage. Rambling about what? Yeah. I don't know. What's I don't know. What's wrong rambling here? I'll tell you. Did you ever fire jump? Like, you know, I'm not talking get paid for it like hula hula on the islands of Hawaii and Hawaii and, and that type of shit or like fucking Burning Man or nothing. But like, you just got a bonfire going and you jump over it. You oh, know? yeah. And then... I'll... And then it gets a little bigger, and then they jump over it again. And then eventually somebody falls into that motherfucker, dude. <laughs> yeah, we were usually, that was the bonfire at the mud hole, and we usually set up something to where we were trying to jump over that bitch with the dirt bikes or the four-wheeler, or, you know. Mm -hmm. We were doing it just running and jumping, and then... Well, that's how it started, then, but eventually when the fire got bigger, we fucking started the, going the other way. And We got dumb, though, for a minute. There was a point. Oh, my God, dude. Mike, I don't know how I didn't get. Uh, I'm not self-incriminating, not because I'm not being too specific, but, like, I, I could have gotten in a lot more trouble for doing some of the shit I've done in my day. Like, oh, and I, like, I straight up have been caught doing some shit and gotten away with it like the law let me go like shit and i'm like like I, an example is there was a, a plaza in one of the towns I, I moved around a lot all right fair a lot of us have so no pity party there i don't care um but one of the towns i grew up in man spent some time in and i was getting it was my rambunctious years there was a plaza with a department store and uh like a little video store you know what i mean like and it was all attached well, they ended up moving or whatever, and the plaza was abandoned for a minute, so skateboards and bikes, and nobody really cared, you know? It was okay. We were all at least confined, if you will, right? And uh, long story short, you get to exploring and doing your thing, you know? You get bored one day, and you're going around drinking your little fucking huggy drinks. We call them bobo juice, actually. Those little little juice kegs with the, fo or the yeah. foil lids and shit. We called them bobo juice, and we, yeah. we would buy cases of Blue, them. Red, we would, yeah, we would take turns buying cases of them. Jay, you're up. Dave, you're up. Mike, you're up. It's your turn to buy a case of bobo juice. Because there was a bunch of us, and on a summer day, all out there skateboarding and teenagers, you know what I mean? We had to stay hydrated. We did. We made sure we stayed hydrated, at least. It was it, oh, we, fuck, it was, it was neat. Like, bobo juice. We that called them fucking bobo me. juice, though, dude. It was neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but anyway, long story short, then I keep saying that, and it's not a short story at all, so uh, lo short story long. <laughs> um, we found a way to get up on top of the plaza in the, like, the back by the receiving docks and all that jazz. There was, like, pipe work, and we Spider-Manned it, holding the pipes up and all that good shit. And we get up there, and then it turned out that was the hangout for a good long while. And we were cool about it because, you know, the like the facing of the front, is like there's an extra wall up there, so you could actually be up there standing up. Nobody would even see you. You know what I mean? Like it was fucking tight. Until one time we decided, like, hey, let's just have a little bonfire up here. Let's just start a little fire. 
and there was apartments next door and they were cool but that was the line we didn't right. burn we didn't burn the joint down or nothing like that it was just a small fire going it got a little smoky we weren't burning nothing inappropriate it was just wood you know and we actually had a little bucket of water and water bottles and things like that but you're never prepared for that whole place could have gone up i do understand now right like whatever but the like a fire department shows up and nobody really nobody cared it was really weird nobody gave a shit it was just like guys you can't like come on it was almost like they're like yeah that's fucking cool but like unfortunately i'm a firefighter and i'm a cop so we're gonna have to tell you to stop and go home now you know it was weird it was really weird and there was like 15 of us dude it was fucking crazy there was like four or five of us that could climb up the fucking building and the tree to get on the roof of the library and we'd get up there during softball games and fuck with me nice nice <laughs> i like doing that kind of shit dude like the corn maze when we were in there hiding and like like nothing for nothing you slipped right like we just melded into the, like a dual character mode of the you know making no you don't just want to say hey and boogie boo no you're gonna you're gonna make some fucked up ooh, 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 noises and shit and then we uh, where was that that was a, that was fun man fucking with people in the court maze <laughs> that one wherever that one kid was he started the whole thing I don't think I ever found his ass either. I was I was right on him, dude, and he had to fucking he moved. That's funny. Because he was right. It was like the <laughs> lane we were in, like three foot in the middle, and then there was another lane on the other side over there where we could walk through. Mm -hmm. And I could hear him, you know, his noises. I didn't hear him following, but I could hear his noises. Right. And I fucking stopped. And I'm like, oh, he's got to be right here because he's not making no noise no more. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden I hear him make his little noise again. I'm like, yeah. I think, I think. Fuck here. Well, there was That's, somebody in there. Was there was. In the book, I think I would have landed on top of him, but. There was somebody in that motherfucker that had a fucking Bluetooth speaker, too, that was fucking around. And. At first, it fucked with me for a minute, and I'm like, nah, that's just a speaker. But then there was people doing people, and then we took it up another level. Because, like, there was even the moments where it was like, oh, shit, did you see that rat? Did you see that snake? <laughs> oh, there was a bunch of spiders over there just, just planting little psychological seeds and motherfuckers. We were... <laughs> and, and you know, old, dirty men. We were being old, dirty men Our about cables. it, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's out for the... They come out about this time. Yeah, yeah, dude. I, Corn weevil, what's that? I mean, oh, you don't know about those things? They like to crawl up the fucking stocks and shit and jump out at you. Watch out. You heard me fall back there. There was one in my face. <laughs> and then somebody jumps like, oh, shit. <laughs> ah, Started dude. doing all oh, that, too. Look. Ah, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Well, what about this though? Like, so let's take it to the other level. What if there was a weird, like a real weirdo in there? Like a, how you doing, dude, boy? I do. Weirder, weirder than me or you. <laughs> what if it was a weirdo that was like in the old dudes that like us and they're like, he's like, hey boys, how do you like them corn stalks there, boys? You didn't tell you a story about this vagina sign that I make back in my shack over there in the wooded areas over there where they play the cornhole. I'm just going to get some and I'm going to write that on the side of the bottle and give it to you just vagina because. Vagina shine. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking blueberry vagina shine. Bubba's and Eddie's finest. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How many, how, like, for, I, dude, it, it's possible. You want to get all scientific. We're looking for volunteers to help us ferment some finely squirted. Well, everybody's squirt, everybody's got different pumps and squirts and, you know. Yeah, but we just need yeah. one you're gonna get girls that are peeing in a jar and sending it to you, just like, look, look, I squirted like five Send gallons, it. and you're like, bitch, it's just you peed. I don't need your morning asparagus and my dehydrated camel piss fucking coming through the mail. No, we want vagina shine, baby. We want. That's it. Go mm. anyway. You can't send that shit in the mail. Vagina shine. And you know what? Pick your flavor. It's raspberry vagina shine. It's raspberry hooch. Maybe that's what hooch really is. Yeah. That, uh, like you get, you get raspberry, cherry, or strawberry when you get your red wings. Oh, come on. You son of a bitch. I'm tar you're getting muted now, boy. <laughs> <laughs> what the pig shit are you fucking even?
ladies and gentlemen, coming from the desk at Dubois, if you want to earn your badges, he found a way for you to earn it. Dubois, please do share. He uses it with Jolly Ranches, he says. You want to get some Jolly Ranches? Everybody ranch. knows about how to earn their red wings. <laughs> Stop it, you pig. I'm going to throw a bit. Here's for, the, here's for those people that don't like moist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. And every once in a while, they got something there where you got a little floss you can clean your teeth. Look, like, you nasty motherfucker. So that's why we're talking the cornfield. So if you walk backwards to the cornfield, you can use the corn tassels as like a, you know, douchebags are more than just dudes from the beach that act like punks. More than just those college guys that's like, what up, bro? That's a douchebag? Yeah, I get it. But that's, there's more, the douchebag is more than just that dude. Whatever. dbcjpodcast at gmail.com. I'm Crazy J. That's Dubois. I think this is kind of nearing a... a Inclusion? Well, if it isn't clear, we're unscripted, unfucking censored Don't give a fuck. Robbed all the way through. If you've got a small business you're interested in plugging, we'll do the co-op. We'll, we'll plug you for free as long as you like, share, do boy. How do they do that? Like, share, what on? And where do they find us? And just, I, I need I've to stop. We've got the three, the three L's and the two S's there. Where? Uh, where? On, on YouTube. YouTube. You know? Ubi Tubi. Ubi Tubi. Ubi Tubi. Ubi. Ubi. <laughs> how that goes. You know you can see boobies on Ubi Tubi. You go in, you go in, and you, you, you lie. You, what, what, what do they do first? You, oh, they listen, uh, listen, listen. Well, usually YouTube you watch, but you know we gotta listen because right now I can see our ugly mugs till we can get together. So <laughs> you listen, you laugh, you like. You subscribe and you share. Share with all your friends and tell them to do the same. DBCJPODCAST at gmail.com. This is the new boy and Crazy J. (laughs) (laughs) The music did it right when you did it. That's funny shit. And you're way over there, like a thousand miles away. (laughs) How did you know? I think on the next episode we'll get into telepathy, maybe, like in psychic bonds and and and, and, and what do they call that? Quantum entanglement, spooky action at a distance, and 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 and, and like you know, friendships and relationships, and you know you know, like like when people can pick up the phone knowing you're about to call and they just answer it right before the first ring, or the song comes on the radio and they, and you know it's that song next and shit like that. Yeah, I think that would be a good good. Uh, Good venue to uh, to lay our seed and while we drink some that, vagina uh, shine. Anybody that used to like the old <laughs> Quantum Leap show, they got a new Quantum Leap show out that's just as good as far as I'm concerned. Where so. can they find that new Quantum Leap show? Uh, just NBC, say it. NBC, 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 Broadcasting Network on Monday night. From and Rockefeller Quantum fucking Leap. center shit. All right, that, yeah, Quantum Leap, baby. And then I believe follows up the next day on what's NBC, the Peacock or whatever. That, they're the Peacock. What right? are you talking about trying to peek at my cock, dude? Like, I don't I don't need that business. From your you want me to shave it for you? Else? Should I shave it for you first? Do you need to? Do you, do you pee from your cock or do you pee from your asshole? Why should I shave it? That's all. I mean, I'm sitting here holding it and the razor. <laughs> This one's, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This Cut it off at the face, you won't miss much. This one's for the ladies. Oh. <laughs> I can't even keep it straight. Oh, <laughs> yeah, all right, I'm glad. The Howard's turned to that in fucking what you call it, that movie he did. And I'm just curious if that actually Ivan works. Parks, yeah, that and I'm just curious if that shit actually works, dude. Like, let's find a volunteer. I don't need to see it, I, and, I, and I don't need to necessarily be the guy on the microphone. But I'm just curious if somebody did it. 
I, w I want the results. Oh. <sighs> this one says Zanetti goes wild. Let's see what this says, dude. Oh, I wonder. Hold on. Let's see what happens. Ready? Oh, it's one of those. I don't want to deal with that shit. That's some garbage. Homie don't got time for this shit. It's about time for Dubois Crazy J to quit. Yeah, it's that shit again. There we go. Yeah. So I think it's about time to sign off. We're gonna, I'm going to pull the plug, right? Because none for none. I got yeah, it's right. time for you to catch a nap. Yeah, so I'll chat with Dubois off air a little bit here. It's always a pleasure. Thanks for letting us fill your ear holes with Willie Stiley and get goofy. And hopefully... Yeah, I'll make me laugh a little bit. I don't even maybe. know what the fuck we were talking about half the time, bro. Honestly. And there's honestly a good five or six minutes of shit of me rambling before I even got on the phone with you. So I'm probably going to upload this in the morning because I'm fucking shot now. Um, <laughs> but you'll laugh when you hear it. Because whatever. All right. So uh, dbcjpodcast at gmail.com. This is Dubois and Crazy J. I love you all, motherfuckers. It's been fun. <laughs> Catch us on the tube. YouTube, that is. All right. Yeah. Well, Peace out. Bye.